Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today we'll be tying uh, another uh, chronomid pattern. Uh, this is like I said uh, a couple uh, uh, videos back that I'm going to be doing a series on chronomids. So this is number two. Uh, I'm probably going to do about ten of them. Um, first one was a uh, um, body glass bloodworm. Um, this one's going to be a peacock hurl uh, bodied uh, um, chronomid that I've had really good success with over the years. So. Um, it's a little bit of an old school style pattern, but uh, yeah, so here we go. So uh, we're going to start off with a Hens BL333 size 10. Um, the thread we're going to be using is a Zemperfly Nano Silk in black. The uh, For the rib, we'll be using, where did I put it? Uh, uh, some uh, Zemperfly wire a 0.2 mil in red and then for the body we're going to be using some uh, of the spirit river intruder spay hackle um, or peacock it's it's just peacock hurl that's dyed black um, so that's 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 the whole uh, oh and sorry and a piece of uh, a little bit of poly yarn for the gills so I tie this in two different versions I tie it weighted and unweighted um, weighted I put a little bead on it like so, unweighted, and that's the one I'm going to be doing today, because the one I've, I use probably more often, that's a little bit, a bit more classic, is this one. Okay, so that's what we're going to be tying right now. I love having a little bit of a red butt on these, uh, it acts as a bit of an attractor. So, it's so always wax your thread, especially when you're using any kind of silk. Um, want this to stick to the hook right so so I'm just gonna start my thread cut off my excess just put a base layer down all the way back touching wraps you want to cover this hook shank I mean if you leave a little bit of a space it's not gonna kill anything because you can come back and do it now I'm just gonna go open wraps I'm gonna come back up I am gonna get my red wire I'm gonna lay it right on top here kind of on my side on top and again touching wraps all the way back and I'm gonna go past where I want to go so I can create my butt so with this one that's about where I want my body to start so now I'm gonna go back half a dozen turns or more and then back up sorry if, if you guys hear my kid in the background I think he's having it's his day off and he's having some sort of a I don't know video game tournament or something I don't know whatever he does <laughs> you know so now I'm gonna get a couple of pieces of the two to three depending on how how uh, big your peacock curl is like I said I, this is a dyed black curl right there you go okay so now I'm just gonna take it by the butts and I'm gonna cut the butt sections off because they're just they're stiff plus they're uh, they don't uh, have a lot of the the fluff properties that I want right so so now I'm just gonna tie that again all the way back to where I want the body to stop which is about there. Oh, I actually broke one. That's okay. Two to three is fine. So now this stuff is is very brittle. So I mean, I've the last couple I've tied, I broke some. So that just means you just got to go back and tie new ones in. Not a huge deal, but you just got to be really careful with this stuff. So just tie this touching wraps one in front of the other. Watch that hook tip. You're gonna leave yourself a bit of space in the front here for the, uh, the gills to be tied in. Okay. And just helicopter those off. Make sure they're tied in nicely. Now I take my red butt and I wanna do three to four wraps right at the back end, touching wraps, make a nice butt 
I want that red, really want that pronounced red butt section on these. And then you can start your, your wrap forward. Okay. I'll tie that off. Actually, that's tied off nice. Helicopter it off. So there's your basically your finished uh, the body and the and the ribs. So um, now I'm going to take a little bit of poly yarn and I'm going to lay it kind of sideways on there. And I'm going to try to this is, can be a little finicky to start. Got to figure eight it on there. Now once you get it started. And make sure you keep it split, all right? And then just get in there, and just get that tied down nicely. Pull it all back, just give a couple of wraps in front again, split it again. Wet your fingers if you want, that makes it, uh, just makes it a little easier to control this poly yarn, because it can do this fray thing. I'll just figure eight it a few times through there. Again, lay it all back. Make sure it's tied in really nice in the front there. Give it a uh, whip finish. Not too big of a head on these. Okay. Then before I cut off my thread, just in case I need to do anything, I'm just going to nip these short. You want them really short. You don't want very long head um, gills on these. And then just bring that forward just to make sure it looks good. And it does. That's what I want. Nip off my tying thread. And that's it. You've got a finished fly. It's a simple fly. Uh, really slow sink. Um, for those of you that can use a multiple fly system, um, I'd put this on like as a mid fly or even an upper fly um, with a weighted fly on the bottom just to help get it down a bit. Um, but that's it. That's a very simple, very simple little uh, chronomid pattern. Um, and like I said, if you if you like the the more weighted style, then definitely you can either put an underbody weight on them, which you could do, or you could do that, right? And that's a uh, that's just with a uh, a brass bead head, and then the 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 uh, gills are tied in under the bead, right? You tie those in first before you put the bead on. I just noticed that those gills are uneven, so I'm just trimming them, being picky. So, right? So you can do that, or like I said, you can do the one that we just uh, the one that we just tied. But uh, the key to this is just a nice slimmer slim body and that red butt that red butt that red butt i find that really attracts them so okay well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you did give her a thumbs up if you subscribed thank you very much if you have not please consider doing so uh once we hit a thousand subscribers which is uh, about uh, i think about 65 70 away um we will be giving away some uh, copy of my books and uh also uh, a, a selection of flies that i've tied on this channel so um yeah tight lines everyone spread the word let all your buddies know and uh about the page and uh, we'll go from there see you later everyone